Hey guys, Justin here. So I have been buying a lot of plug power stock over the past two months, and I want to explain why I have been doing so in this video. Now, for those of you who know nothing about plug power stock or who want a broader overview of the company, I highly suggest you check out my last video on plug power stock that I published back in August. And if you want to watch it, I'll link it above and below in the description. Now, just to give you an idea of my purchasing history with Plug Power Stock, let's take a look at my main investment portfolio with M1 Finance. As you can see here, Plug Power is now the third largest holding in my portfolio. And if we go over to the activity section and search for Plug Power Stock, we can see all of the buys and sells I've made related to Plug Stock over the past year. Despite getting in around the $12 per share mark back in August, I ultimately ended up selling out of my entire position shortly after buying. And in hindsight, that was a really big mistake. Now, unfortunately, there wasn't a good reason for why I sold out other than I got nervous. You see, plug power stock at the time was a very polarizing stock. Despite plug stock itself performing well, the company has been around since 1998 and is yet to turn a profit. Also, at the time, there was a big debate between the battery electric believers and the hydrogen believers. And while the future of battery electric looked inevitable, the future for hydrogen was not so certain. Nikola at the time was being investigated for fraud and hydrogen as a whole was being criticized from every direction. So fast forward to late November and plug stock was starting to jump back up again. This time, however, I told myself that I would not let my emotions get the best of me and I was determined to buy and hold plug power stock for the long term, which as you can see from my buys and sells is what I did. Between November 23rd of last year and January 13th of this year, I bought 336 shares worth of plug power stock for a cost basis of $12,507. And even though plug stock has pulled back over the past couple of days, I don't have any plans of selling. This is because I actually do think part of building a sustainable future will involve hydrogen. And I know that there are many Elon fans out there that will comment below about how inefficient hydrogen is, but I still think it will have a role to play. Also, I am a big Elon fan myself, and I do have quite a bit of Tesla stock in my portfolio, so I understand the arguments against hydrogen very well. But with that being said, I also have to realize that even though hydrogen really hasn't gained much traction in the US, in other parts of the world, governments are highly incentivizing the use of hydrogen to the point where it is actually starting to catch on. And in places like Europe and Japan, for example, hydrogen is starting to gain a foothold. Now, does this mean hydrogen will be the preferred method of energy storage 100 years from now or 200 years from now or 500 years from now? Probably not. I do think as battery technology improves, batteries will eventually win out. But recently, there have been some developments with plug stock that have shown there might be a future for hydrogen after all. Plug Power announced last week on January 6th that they would be forming a joint venture with one of South Korea's biggest oil refineries, SK Group. And as a part of this joint venture, SK Group bought 51.4 million shares of Plug Power at a price of $29 a share, which represents roughly a $1.5 billion investment investment into plug power. Now, the deal is set to close sometime in the first quarter of 2021, so it's not officially completed yet. But this partnership signals a bright future for plug power stock in South Korea. The South Korean government announced in 2019 something called the Hydrogen Economy Roadmap, which outlined ambitious goals for hydrogen through the year 2040. These goals include over 5 million tons of hydrogen production capacity, 6.2 million fuel cell vehicles on the road, and 1,200 refilling stations available, all by 2040. So based on this partnership with Plug Power, it looks like South Korea is serious about reaching these goals. And it also looks like Plug Power is positioning itself to be a key player in South Korea's hydrogen plans. Now, the next announcement that Plug Power made came just a couple of days ago on January 12th, and it involved another joint venture. But instead of South Korea, this joint venture was with a French company called Renault. This 50-50 joint venture will be finalized by the first half of 2021, and its aim is to capture 30% of the market for fuel cell-powered light commercial vehicles in France, which would be quite a significant chunk if they are successful. 
And with Renault as a partner, this is very likely to happen. Analyst Colin Rush calls Renault the number two player in the European light commercial vehicle market and also adds that Renault's ownership positions in Nissan and Mitsubishi represent additional potential avenues of expansion for plug power stock. Rush also believes that the initial delivery of fuel cell vehicles that will be manufactured under the partnership will be delivered by either late 2021 or early 2022, which is not very far away. And he also adds that he believes the goal for Plug Power and Renault will be to deliver 500,000 vehicles by 2030. Now, that might not sound like a lot of vehicles, especially compared to what Tesla produces, but so far, Plug Power has only sold 40,000 fuel cell units in its entire existence. So if they can get to the point where they are selling 500,000 fuel cell units a year, then that would be a huge increase. Also, Plug Power is currently the largest buyer and user of liquid hydrogen in the world and has built more hydrogen refueling stations than anyone else. So not only does Plug Power bring valuable knowledge to the table in terms of building hydrogen fuel cells, but they also bring a lot of value in terms of building out comprehensive hydrogen solutions. This is what is referred to as a turnkey solution, and it will be a big selling point for Renault as they try to convince customers to buy their new hydrogen-powered vehicles. And if we look at Plug Power's press release, we can see just how important Plug Power's expertise in providing comprehensive hydrogen solutions will be. The press release says that this partnership will create a hydrogen vehicle ecosystem solution company that offers vehicles, hydrogen fueling stations, hydrogen fuel, and services to customers. This comprehensive approach will accelerate the adoption of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles by commercial fleets. So you can clearly see here that Plug Power is providing more value than just manufacturing fuel cells. Also, this highlights a fundamental difference between hydrogen and battery electric. When it comes to battery electric vehicles, the charging infrastructure is really not that complex, meaning many different companies can easily jump in and build out charging stations without much difficulty. However, when it comes to hydrogen refueling stations, things are not as simple. Hydrogen is a volatile compound and it needs to be handled in a safe manner and also stored in a safe manner. So you don't really want anyone coming in and setting it up unless they really know what they are doing. And you also want them to have the right equipment to be able to do it safely. And Plug Power has that knowledge and experience to get the job done. Now, something you have to realize about hydrogen is that even though hydrogen is still more of a niche player in the green energy space, that does not mean that hydrogen will play an insignificant role. Europe is heavily focusing on hydrogen as a key pillar in their green energy plans. And Plug Power is positioning themselves to be the biggest player in this new space. Also, Europe has already put out mandates that will affect ban the use of diesel-powered vehicles in large cities starting in 2024. So the adoption of hydrogen in countries like Europe is something that will happen sooner rather than later. And I think over the next four years, we should see plug power continue to come out with new announcements of more partnerships with European companies and companies from other countries as well. And each of these announcements will serve to boost plug power stock price. But with all that being said, the big question that investors have right now when it comes to Plug Power stock is, is it too late to buy shares? And in my opinion, I don't think it is too late. Yes, Plug Power stock has run up tremendously over the last couple of months, and it will most likely pull back from these all-time highs. But I think over the next five years, Plug Power stock will be a leader in the hydrogen fuel cell market on a global scale. And I think these new partnerships with South Korea and France are just the beginning for Plug Power as more and more countries double down on their plans to clean up their energy sectors. And hydrogen will play a key role for many countries around the world as they attempt to do this. Also, with the new Biden administration coming into power in the U.S., hydrogen might even get a boost here in the U.S. as well. Cheap oil will most likely come to an end under the Biden administration as we move away from domestic oil production. And this will in turn make more expensive alternatives like hydrogen look much more appealing. Also, one country we have failed to mention up to this point is Japan. 
Japan has been investing steadily in hydrogen for over 40 years, ever since the oil shock in the 1970s that hit the country really hard. And many would consider Japan to be the pioneers of hydrogen technology. In 2014, Japanese carmaker Toyota led the world by creating the first ever hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. And more recently, Japan created the world's first ship designed to transport liquid hydrogen. And what's exciting about all of this for plug power is that they recently announced their entrance into the Japanese hydrogen markets back in August. On August 31st, Plug Power put out this press release stating they had delivered their first hydrogen electrolyzer to Japan. The electrolyzer is a 25 kilowatt gen fuel electrolyzer and it was delivered to the city of Nagasaki, Japan. And what is most exciting about this news is that Plug Power, just like Tesla, is starting to execute on their vertical integration strategy. Back in June of 2020, Plug Power announced they would be buying hydrogen producers, United Hydrogen and Ginner ELX. And it was this acquisition of Ginner ELX that enabled Plug Power to expand into the Japanese markets so quickly. You can see here in the press release the importance of the acquisition for Plug Power stock. It says here, a mere two months after our acquisition of Ginner ELX, a leading company that makes the electrolyzer devices that split water into hydrogen and oxygen, Plug Power has delivered a 25 kilowatt gen fuel electrolyzer to Nagasaki, Japan. This achievement represents the first fruits of Plug Power's vertical acquisition strategy in Asia and promotes the development of a scalable, renewable hydrogen economy. The press release then goes on to say that prior to its acquisition of Ginner ELX, Plug Power was known as the leading provider of hydrogen engines and fueling solutions. However, after acquiring the company, Plug Power is now in a position to produce both the hydrogen engines and also the green hydrogen on site to power those engines. Being able to pivot so quickly from acquisition to international deployment testifies to the nimbleness, skill, and leadership of Plug Power's global operations. So to me, this is the most important thing to realize about Plug Power stock as a potential investor. Plug Power is very focused on providing not only the fuel cells, but also the hydrogen itself. And so far through strategic acquisitions, they have been able to massively raise the value they bring to the table. And it is also starting to pay off. Now, while I have painted a very rosy picture for Plug Power stock, this is a stock that will be subject to big swings in investor sentiment over the coming years. Analysts can and will find a number of things wrong with Plug Power stock to try to scare investors away. Firstly, bearish analysts will focus on the lack of profits. And to be honest, this is a fair point. Negative articles criticizing Plug Power's lack of profits can be found all over the internet. But here's the thing. Plug Power is no longer just a small fuel cell manufacturer for the niche material handling market segments. Plug Power is expanding into many different countries around the world, like we talked about, and it is really trying to become a vertically integrated company in the hydrogen space, which is a huge shift from its previous business model of just producing fuel cells. And in order to meet the global demand for their hydrogen products, Plug Power recently raised $1 billion in order to build a new 200,000 square foot gigafactory in Monroe County, New York. This new factory will be used to build not only fuel cells, but also the electrolyzers used to produce the hydrogen. All of this together has led Plug Power to raise its revenue estimates from $1 billion in 2024 up to $1.2 billion in 2024. And some analysts are even predicting net revenues of up to $1.9 billion in 2024. So clearly this is a stock that I think is at a tipping point when it comes to being able to expand into new markets. And it's capable of delivering a more diverse set of products thanks to the acquisitions it has made. And while I think you are safe to wait to buy Plug Power stock until after it's done falling, I don't think you should wait too long. Otherwise, you could miss out on some very generous long-term returns. So again, as of now, I am not selling any of my shares of Plug Power stock, and I will simply wait for the next uptrend before I continue to buy more shares, which I don't think I will have to wait too long for that to happen. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit that like button. Also head over to my channel where I have a bunch of other great videos that you might find interesting. And with that, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.